Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that the Lord is with you this day. I want to ask you a question. Do you know, does your soul feel its worth? Do you know that he died for you? He shed his blood every drop for you, for your soul. If you were the only person on this earth the Lord our God would have shed his last drop of blood for you, for your soul. He is coming to collect the souls that have accepted him. He is coming to take away, to hapodso, to paralumbano, take for a friend. He is coming to take his friends home, his bride the bride that is wise, the bride that has prepared, the bride that has repented. Those with a repentant heart who have put their trust in the Lord our God will be taken home soon. Before the, rap before the um, tribulation, the rapture will come. There is no doubt it is scripturally sound doctrine but we have many coming against us with false word saying we must go through. The only people going through are those that did not overcome. When in the book of Revelation, the, apo uh, the apocalypse, the book of apocalypse, it says that the overcomers will escape what is coming but those that refuse to repent those that refuse to follow the Lord they will go through it so your soul was worthy that he would die for you accept that and follow him those that follow him will be saved from going through it they don't have to go through it those that don't come to that saving um, understanding until after will go through it those that are deceived will go through it if they're not preparing how do we prepare we must be as wise as serpents but as gentle as doves we must know the enemy the enemy is coming to us in many, many ways, some in physical attacks, some in emotional attacks, but informational attacks are the one you must be prepared for. Now, already I've been um, banned on the computer. This is now twice. The next time will be serious. That I may lose the channel. But until then, I'm being as wise as a serpent and I am starting to load my videos onto Rumble. I will put a um, link at the bottom. I pray one of you will let me know if that link works. I won't put any more um, of my dream ones on here until I know that the link works. I have three videos over on Rumble now. The one that was banned for being for doing egregious harm obviously to satan not to you it's the one that got me taken off for a 7 day period i don't get warnings i just get banned um so i'm off for a 7 day period and then um i had two more the lord flooded me with dreams so i had two more videos of dreams and they are there. I don't dare bring them across until I know that you can access them in the Rumble in case they are also deemed um, egregious. Because the truth is now egregious harm. It can only be egregious harm to Satan. So when you get a, a listing called egregious harm, and it was simply truth-telling, then you know 
He is feeling it. We are treading on his head. He bit us on the ankle, but we are treading on his head and he doesn't like it. Now, please let me know. Someone just let me know if the links work. Um, and then I'll be able to put the two ones. I can't put the band one on, but I can possibly try the other two. So this is my this is my plea for help. Help me to understand. I I'm not good with rumble, and I don't know how to pass it on. So please let me know. Now, is it going to be safe on rumble? No. Number one, they will make it very difficult for truth tellers sites to be found. Even Google is is making it difficult. Is Rumble independent? No, it's not. It is connected. It is an associate of YouTube. So picture it this way. The devil has several channels, several avenues of information. He creates a very popular one called YouTube. So all the truth tellers go on YouTube and they put out content. He bans them, bans them, bans them. But he's got this backup area. So they go to there, but it's harder to access. So they lose a lot of followers. And they put on there. But then he starts banning because he's now got the same policies coming across because they are really the same company. So he's moved you off the most popular platform onto another platform, then starts banning you and you've got to look for an even more obscure platform. And you get, it's like a train being shunted off onto side railings until eventually it's out in the desert where no one can find it. They are making it hard to find in the searches. Now Google has come up with a new search engine that actually censors any information that is not doesn't adhere to the World Econ Economic Forum, the United Nations, the World Econ did I say World Economic Forum? I think I did. Any of those World Health Organization, any of the globals. If you speak against it, whether it's on the <laughs> even. It's hard to say the word medic L. That even that, if it's anything to do with your physical health, it is getting impossible to speak certain words without being banned. They are taking the truth, and God said, Seek ye until it is no longer able to be found. Seek the truth. It will soon be not found. Now, when they move little little channels like me, yes, we're going to be moved across. But what will they do with the bigger, more popular channels? AI is able to recreate a person, a voice. They can quite easily take away the person you think you're following and put their own replica in. You won't know. The only way you will know if they are the real person telling the truth is if you listen to what they say. Don't believe until you be a Berean and go back and check your Bible. Time is that you will not, and it's possibly now, you will not be able to find the truth, even the biblical truth, on your devices. If you are relying on Bible Hub or any of those, remember AI can at an instant switch words, switch meanings. They can just go in and you'd never know they were there. They can, and they already have AI on rewriting the Bible. So all they have to do is, when it's ready, just send a virus through all Bible apps and it will change 
what is there. You must have a backup in hard cover or hard, something you can touch. A book, you must have a backup book. You must have the Bible able to be held in your hand and read with your eyes. Now, as I say, everything is being edited. Everything is being changed. I talked about copyrights in the one of the videos on the that I'm going to try and bring across. But Nick, you need to know this. Even the publishers need not know that they are publishing a corrupted book. Publishers, it's not like it used to be where it was typeset all set out and the printing done and then they would go and check every page to make sure the typing was correct. It's digital. It's like you printing something out on your computer. It's digital. So if AI came into a publisher's database and put in just a few alterations, the publisher would never know because they've printed it so many times in the past they never suspect that it's been altered. Now, all they need to do to make people doubt that Jesus is Jesus is alter one, one thing, one idea. If in the original it says, Jesus said, I am the Lord, I am God, the Son of God, any of that, all it has to do is instead of say, I am, that they can say, he thought he was, he said he was. That changes it from being a definite to just a passing comment. Or they could even just put in one extra word. He said, I am not God. One word, who is going to notice that? One word, I am not so the following generations will read that and it could be the publication of your very best King James Bible. It could be in the Greek Bible. It could be in anything printed because AI has access to all data. Google has access to all data. Google has access to everything you do. You think of everything you do on your phone, they are Google apps. Everything you do on your tablet, tablet, I've got that. They're Google apps. You get them at the Google store. Apple, well, we already know Apple is corrupt. What's its symbol? The bite of the apple, Satan tempting Eve. It's all, it's declared itself from the maker. The maker was a Satanist. So we don't even have to wonder if that's corrupted. They've got your data. They can follow everything you're doing. They don't need to tell you they're following. You look at all the things that Google has on you. Every time you make a search, it has a tracker. You're looking for this information, medical information, natural health information, you're looking for Bible information, you're looking for history. History is no longer available. Things that I know in history, things that I researched years ago, those sites don't exist anymore. That information is gone. We're living in Orwell's 1984. Information is gone. We lived in the information age, we are living in the disinformation age. Anyone that tells the truth oh, is dear. being silenced in one way or another, but you're also being tracked. You must be careful with your dealings, but you must find any information you can now and set it aside Download it if you can. Those that have the ability to download things, download any truth you can so it's there, but put it in a book. Give yourself a chance to put it down because when we're gone, not only is the helper, the Holy Spirit left this world, 
but truth has left. They will just switch AI on completely. At the moment, there's enough people that know the truth to come against it. But soon there will be no one left that knows the truth. And they will believe the lie unless the truth is there. So you want your family to have truth? Put it somewhere safe. Put it on a, a thumb drive. Put it in a book. But remember the thumb drives and all of the technology of today will also be destroyed. One EMP blast is all it will take to fry every machine you've got unless you keep a backup machine in a um, Faraday cage. You can make them yourself. I think you can still find that information online. You can make it. I'm not bothering because personally... I've told everyone that I can tell. The only way I can reach people is through this machine. And when it's gone, I can't reach anymore. But if you want, I I have no worries if you want to copy any of my videos for future reference. I don't have a copyright on what God tells me to say because it's not me. This This has nothing to do with me. I am nothing but an old lady that God said, use your voice. And my voice is from the Lord. I am not speaking the words of the Lord. I am not a prophet. I am simply trying to give a message in my own way of what I am instructed to do. The dreams I know come from him. Whether I say them exactly the way he wants me to, I don't know. I'm trusting that he will get the message out to you. But I am just a old lady who is trying to tell you what I've been told, what I think it means you have to use discernment, but you are at liberty to do what you will with it as long as you don't blaspheme the Lord. That. Are you doing all the talking? Right, that just my dad making sure I'm right. Um, now, loves, it's time that you had yourselves to be wise. Wise as the serpent, know what he is up to, but remember what you are here for. You are here to tell the word of the Lord in whatever way you can, whether it's you find something and you want to share it with somebody, but you must do it as quickly as possible because the time is short. If you want someone to know something, tell them now. If you want someone to see something, show them now because it is soon going to be the end. We are going to be taken and those that are left are going to be in a world where truth is impossible to find unless one of you have left them the truth. It must be in three dimensions. It cannot be digital if you want them to have it. And three dimensions, guess, a, a thumb drive, three dimensions. It's got to come off, off the access of the, um, of the AI. And you, if you are going to have a, a machine left for your family to view these things on, make sure it is a machine that is capable of being offline so that it cannot be corrupted and so that the information cannot be traced. Make sure you have access to offline technology. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I, I believe I've said everything that I was meant to say in this. But remember, your computer can track 
everything you've linked to, everything you've ever viewed, everything you've ever searched, everything you've ever played a game on, so they know the games even that you play. And that can be significant. You might not realise it, but that can create a portrait of your personality. Every message you've ever sent to anyone, any digital message to anyone on any topic, every keystroke you have ever done on your computer is all recorded. Every contact, contact tracing was very easy, wasn't it? They have every contact. They know who you speak to. If you use digital information, they know. If you travel with your phone, they know where you are. It pings. You cannot turn that off, to my knowledge. Unless you take the battery out is the only way that I've ever understood you could stop that. But then as soon as you put the battery in again, they know where you are because it's going to ping. Um, so every app you've ever used, digital app, is Google tracked. Every download you've ever made, everything you have ever done that's linked with the internet is tracked and traceable. And I don't say that to scare you, but I say that to make you wise, because with wisdom comes understanding of God and with fear. That really comes wisdom. So you need to be ready. He's coming for you. But until he comes, Satan is going to ramp up. The attacks are going to be fast and furious. You need to know as much as you can and get it down. Get it ready for your family and loved ones. But keep your, your heart and your soul alert to what's going on. And realise that AI could be infiltrating the text on the internet. It could infiltrate the mod the newer printings of even the old versions of the Bibles. And it can mimic your favourite teachers and preachers on the in in this AI can already, as it's done in the past, just as a fun thing with students, they were able to copy politicians. They did Barack Obama, they did um, Mr. Putin from Russia, and they did Donald Trump. They were able to sit in their little studio at home and using AI, and this is years ago, they were able to make it look, really look like these politicians were saying something they were not saying because they were able to clone the face onto their own face, clone the voice, and then their own gestures and their own speech was manipulated into that politician and it was seamless then. They could fool people then Imagine what secret service agents could do with that technology. You cannot believe what you see or hear digitally. And soon you won't even be able to believe what you see and hear in the real world because AI is bringing in holograms that are three-dimensional. They will explain away how did Jesus appear in a room. Look, we can do it. We can bring Michael Jackson to a stage. They've, they've done the clumsy attempt years ago, making a mockery of it. But they will soon be able to walk somebody out amongst you and you not know it's artificial. They can already create fake bodies. You won't know truth if you haven't got it in your heart and haven't got discernment. You will be fed the lie. God said, if they don't have the love of truth, 
They will believe the lie. So keep your family looking for truth. If you haven't yet come to the realisation that your soul is worthy, if you can't feel the worth of your soul and understand that Jesus did die for you, if you still think that's an airy fairy thought, but yes, I know he loves me, but did he die for me? You have to consolidate that in your mind and in your heart, that yes, he died for you. And if he died for you, you need to search him. You need to trust him. If someone dies for you, that's someone you can trust. And he came back to life for you to prove to you that he can take up life. Once it's laid down, he can take it up. And if he can take up his life, he can take up yours. He can do it because he loved you and he will do it if you love him. So get ready. Those that are ready for the rapture will be going in the rapture. Those that can put their full faith and trust in him will go in the rapture. The lukewarm at this moment, darlings, consolidate your thoughts, consolidate your heart. Don't sit on the fence. You want to be found worthy at the time. He said, Pray always to be found worthy to escape all things that are to come upon the earth, to test the earth, those that dwell on the earth. That's the great tribulation. Be ready. Trust in him and pray that you are found worthy. Not through your own righteousness, but through your faith in him who is righteous, in your repentance to turn away from the old you that sinned and turn to him, to put your trust in him and he will lead you. That is your God and that is your blessed hope that he will come for you, the readied bride. I'll leave it at that. Please I remember, look in the, the um, description below for my Rumble links and somebody please let me know if the links work. And otherwise I have to find another way and I can't bring those videos, well I can't bring the two dream videos across just in case they also break this new um, guideline that I don't understand how to be egregious harmful this one has no definition how do you know what that means anyway God bless you may he make his face to shine upon you and give you peace and understanding and may he walk with you he does love you you know that I love you and may you take the prayers of my father and I, he's sitting here with me now, and may you make, take the prayers of us that you will find your way and that we will see you very, very soon. We are waiting. <laughs> we are looking. He loves the one that looks for his son's soon appearing. He loves you. God bless you all. Amen.